Hi guys, hi ladies. Today we are gonna do very nice creation from our food. Create cooking. It's a chicken roll with a brown rice and sweet chard. Let's see the ingredients. We are gonna use whole chicken breast slightly thin with a big knife as we see. We are gonna spice our dish spices 2 spoon of curry and we have 1 dry lime and Italian spices 1 teaspoon. I crushed the lime uh, and 2 magic cube. To fill the chicken 4 ounces of chopped onion, 1 ounce of roasted almond, 3 ounces of white mushroom and 1 ounce of carrot and we got 1 teaspoon crushed garlic. For the rice I'm gonna mix it with one and a half pounds Swiss chard. I have three cups of brown rice soaked in water over half an hour and we got some flour to dust our rolls before we fry them and we're gonna use two to four ounces vegetable oil and I need half a lemon and of course we're gonna use salt. Let's cook it. I'm gonna start by cooking tiny filling for the I'm gonna use some onion and with the carrot the almond goes in and the mushroom. My stuffing resting very good. I'm gonna add the garlic just to extract the flavor from the pan. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of water. I'm gonna add little salt, quarter of the curry. I'm gonna mince it really fine. Need some salt. It's a small quantity, so I'm start rolling the chickens. We're gonna start by putting some curry powder into the chicken flesh and adding some salt. Okay, and then we put our filling. We divided the filling according to the chicken size. I'm gonna be careful with the first one. This is the fillet of the chicken. This is my chicken. Roll it. Put it on the plate. We start rolling from the thick side so we can secure the chicken on the thin side. Like this is the thick side. We roll, roll, roll. Bring these Italian spices. Now I'm gonna dust it with the flour. put it back in the plate. Same with this one. Dust it with the flour. Put it back on the plate. We're dusting it with the flour to attract brownness and protect the flesh from getting at the same time. We have here brown rice. I'm gonna boil it first. I'm gonna add some salt. I'm gonna add the dry lime. Cover it. Put it on high until it's boiled. With the other pan, we're gonna start cooking the flavor for the rice. We'll start with the onion. I'll add the curry. One teaspoon of salt. I'll combine the Swiss chard. This yummy vegetable, they shrink big deal. Pour it around. Get all the corners. I want to make it fine base with our mincer. I'm gonna put the two chicken cube to add more flavor. We'll put it on the side for now, waiting for the rice to boil. The rice start boiling. We we'll put it on medium heat and leave it for 15 minutes. I'm gonna use two ounces of oil. Put it on high medium number four. The side where I'll seal the chicken at the bottom. I'm gonna check on the chicken. If they start, that means they continue cooking. I would like to lower the heat a little bit. Gently move them. I 
put it in medium heat again continue browning the smell of the Italian spices oh la la I got them really brown at least on two sides I'm gonna cover it up and steam it so it's gonna be cooked from inside as well the rice is al dente so I'm gonna switch the fire put them in the back fire lower the heat here I'm gonna I'm gonna combine the rice with my switch jar and mix it this is my lime still there it will add flavor I'm gonna cover it up and put it on low heat let's check the chicken and give it another flip cover it for another five minutes I'm gonna stick my thermometer in the chicken Checking the internal temperature, 65 Celsius. I'll keep it a little longer. I'll check on the rice just by scrubbing these so it wouldn't stack at the bottom. We got our rice. We got this lemon. We're gonna squeeze some lemon juice on the rice. Mix it a little bit. Give it some flavor. We're gonna slice the chicken carefully. Place it on the rice. I present you stuffed chicken roll with a brown rice mix with Swiss chard. That the idea behind eating eating healthy with a bit of style. It's two items together. The rice it's unbelievable done. It's very tasteful and you can find the structure of the veggie in your mouth. If somebody have trouble with that, it's amazing. Enjoy your videos and I hope and keep me busted. Thank you, Chef Asak. Bye bye.